All right, problem number 12. Maybe some of you don't even know who Napoleon Dynamite is or you don't know what tetherball is. In either case, that's sad. Napoleon Dynamite is playing tetherball. He hits the ball so that an angle of 20 degrees is formed between the two meter rope, two meter rope and the pole. What will the linear speed of the ball be in its circular path around the ball, around the pole? So the linear speed meters per second of the, as it rotates around. So a couple things we need to figure out. One, uh, what is this radius? Well, this radius can be found by using the triangle formed by the two meter long rope and the pole and the, the actual angle of 20 degrees. So we can say the radius then is two meters times sine of 20. And we'll get that. Once we have that, then we can, two meters times sine of 20. Then the velocity is two pi r over t, but we don't know time. Uh-oh. So we can use the r and solve for, we pull this, this, uh, free body diagram, the tension force here in mg and the inward force, which is the centripetal force. So the tension force is pulling up this way, plus mg equals the centripetal force, which is ft sine theta. So mg is the adjacent side to this, ft is the hypotenuse, so ft cosine theta would be mg, and that means ft is mg over cosine theta. So Ft sine theta is equal to the centripetal force because that's the actual force that's pushing into the circle right here. It's the only force pulling into the circle. So Ft sine theta is equal to mv squared over r. So mg over cosine theta, which is Ft, right, times sine theta equals mv squared over r. Sine over cosine is tangent. Now we have mg tangent theta is v squared over r, and you'll notice both m's cancel. So Rg tangent theta is V squared. Square root of Rg tangent theta is V. Remember, R comes from 2 meters times sine of 20 degrees. Plug all those in. You have V.